DeVos' own health struggles led to that lasting impact on the medical community in Grand Rapids. 24-hour news ace Lindsay McComel joins us with a closer look at what he did to spur medical strides in West Michigan. Lindsay? Well, Sue, that's right. DeVos received a heart transplant overseas two decades ago, and when he returned to West Michigan, he made it his mission to make the first ever heart transplant possible here in Grand Rapids. You thought that if you sent me over to Europe to get a new heart, you could get rid of me. Well, you didn't make it, did you? Even while waiting for his heart transplant in London in 1997, Rich DeVos sent a message back to donors in West Michigan. I'm still here, and I'm still hitting you up for money. Only now we're talking about the American Heart Association. After a successful transplant, DeVos returned to Grand Rapids and began working to make it easier for patients to receive life-saving care locally without traveling across the globe like he had to. He testified before Congress in 2003 about incentivizing organ donation in the U.S. His focus also extended to recruitment, ultimately bringing the same doctor who performed his transplant to Grand Rapids. Dr. Asgar Kagani served as head of then Butterworth Hospital's heart transplant program, successfully performing the first ever transplant here in 2010. We were there as Ron Bentley received a second chance at life. I always liked to plan ahead and made a lot of plans in my life, and now it looks like I'm going to have the opportunity to keep doing, going with those plans. DeVos's philanthropy over the years continues to ensure those in West Michigan can continue with their life's plans, thanks to Grand Rapids becoming a hub for world-class medical care. I marvel at the research that's been done. I marvel at what Dr. Tomatis and McNamara and others in Grand Rapids community have done to make it possible for us to be here to even, to even think in terms that a 70-plus-year-old guy would have a chance at getting another heart and maybe a few more years. And as we now know, he had another 20 years to create more of a lasting impact here in Grand Rapids.